Hey guys, today we're going to see how to integrate Google and Facebook logins with our Yeet Easy Login and Register pop-up for WooCommerce plugin. With this integration, you're going to be able to make it easier and faster for users to log in and purchase from your website. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so once we have the plugin activated on our site, we can go to Yid, Easy Login Register pop-up, First Step Options, and we're going to scroll down to Social Login Options where we can find Facebook and Google's login options. We're going to expand here on Facebook Login first. So you see that we have a number of options here, Facebook App ID, Facebook App Secret, Facebook Button Text, button background color but we're going to focus on these first two options okay facebook app id and facebook app secret so this first option reads at your facebook app id find it and if we click here we are redirected to facebook for developers keep in mind that in order to get here you need to create an account for meta for developers I already created my Facebook account first and then registered that account in this Meta for Developers website and went through the validation process. So in case you haven't done this before, we're going to leave the link to register as a Facebook developer in the descriptions below, okay? Now, we're going to click here on my apps. There are no apps yet. And we're going to click here on create app. We're going to see this list of app types that we can choose from. We have business, customer, instant games, but we're going to choose none because this option allows you to create an app with combinations of consumer and business permissions and products. I'm going to click here on next. So for this play name, we can choose any name we want to. This is for us to identify the app. We can change this later. I'm going to name this Carlos app that said we need to add an email address right here because this is used to contact you about potential policy violations app restrictions or steps to recover the app if it's been deleted or compromised we're going to leave this option as it is no business manager account selected and we're going to click on create app here we need to enter our facebook password just to make sure everything's okay Great, so once we are done, we are going to see all of these products and we're going to select Facebook login, set up, and we're going to have these options. We're going to choose web. Here we need to add the site's URL. We're going to click here on save and then continue. We're going to click next a couple of times now, here, here, here and that's it now we're going to click on settings basic and here's where we're going to find facebook's app id we're going to copy this and go back to the dashboard and paste the app id right here and then we're going to go back to meta for developers and i'm also going to copy the app secret show copy back to the dashboard and paste right here we're going to go back to meta for developers again and we're going to click on facebook login settings we're interested in this option right here login with the javascript sdk we're going to enable this this is a very important option for this integration okay and just as important it is to add the domain right here after we enable the option we're going to save changes okay so now that everything is saved we have configured everything for the facebook login we're going to go back to the dashboard i'm going to enable this option right here and i'm going to save options so now we're going to see how this works okay we're going to go to this site okay so i'm on the site but i'm on a browser where i didn't log in okay so i'm not logged in in this browser i'm just a guest user so 
I'm going to click on this dress. I'm going to add this to the cart. I'm going to view cart. Keep in mind, I didn't log in. I have the product right here and when I click on proceed to checkout, I get this model window asking me to log in or register to continue and I have the option to log in with Facebook right here. Let's click here, there. Now users can easily log in before going to the checkout page using their Facebook accounts. Now let's configure Google's login, okay? We're going to close here and I'm going to go back to the dashboard. We're going to scroll down again to social login options and we're going to expand Google login. So I have a lot of options again, just like we did for Facebook login, but we're going to focus on the Google client ID. At your Google client ID, find it. We're going to click here. We're going to be redirected to this page where we're going to find information about how to set up open authorization. But we're interested in this first option right now. Go to the API console. We're going to click here. Now that we're here, we need to create a project. So we're going to click here. New project. We need to name the project. I'm going to use the same name I used before. For location, I'm not going to add anything. I'm going to click here on create. Great. So here under notifications, I can see that the project was created. I'm going to select the project. And to my left, we see the project's information. We're going to click on go to project settings. Here we have the name, the project ID and the project number. Now I'm going to click on this menu and I'm going to select APIs and services credentials. We're going to click here on create credentials and then on the second option, open authorization client ID. We're going to see this message to create an open authorization client ID. You must first configure your consent screen. So we're going to click here on configure consent screen. So here you see that we have two different options for a user type. We have internal, where it's only available to users within your organization. And we have external, where the project will be available to any test user with a Google account. We're going to select external and then we're going to click on create. So now we need to add the app's information. Once again, the name then the email address for users to contact you with questions about their consent. Now that the name and the email were entered, we need to go down here to authorize domains and we're going to click on add domain. Here is where I need to enter the domain. Okay. And for developer contact information, I'm just going to add the same email address I added before. I'm going to click on save and continue. We get the scope section, but we're just going to click on save and continue for now. Then the test users, save and continue. And now we get the summary of all the information we entered. We can verify here if everything's correct. If not, you can edit the information right here. Now we're going to scroll down and click on back to the dashboard. And we need to click here on publish app. You're going to get this message, push to production. Your app will be available to any user with a Google account. We're going to confirm this. Then we're going to click on credentials again. Create credentials. Open authorization client ID. Now for application type, we're going to choose web application, the first option. And we get these new options where we need to add the URI for the authorized JavaScript origins. And we'll do the same for authorized redirect URI. Let me just delete that slash there. Let's add the URI here. Great. Open authorization client created. We're going to see this model. Here's my client ID. I'm going to copy this and we're going to go back to the dashboard, paste this right here, then enable the Google login, save options, 
and I'm going to go back to the browser where I was a guest user. I didn't log in here. I still have the same address right here in my card and I'm going to click on proceed to checkout and I get this model window asking me to log in or register before I proceed to checkout. And now I have the option to log in with Facebook or Google. If I click here on login with Google, I get this pop-up where I can log in with my already existing email address. That's it. As you can see, in just a few clicks, we can make the purchase process a lot easier and faster for our customers thanks to the integration between Google and Facebook's login and our Git Easy Login and Register pop-up for WooCommerce. Okay guys, that's so how you can integrate Facebook and Google logins with our plugin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.